Bosse filed this report for us. Take a look. 20 years ago, Gregory Vianne Magoma was only an ordinary dancer from Orlando trying to build something from his passion. I've, I've tried even working for an insurance company, so, and I realized sitting in an office was not me. And, and after two years of, uh, of security and good salary um, and, and a good prospect as a business person, I, I realized this wasn't me. This was not really what I wanted to wake up to every day of my life. So I took that risk, I took that chance to get back into dance. And when moving to dance, um, um, the, the school um, that I started training offered me an opportunity to take dance full time. I jumped into that opportunity and, and I started being really um, playing an important role, not just you know, in, the, in my development of dance, but also giving back immediately to the community because I was going back into schools. But his love for the art of movement began way before that, when he was watching television and absorbing what was happening around him. I think I was nine or ten years old when I discovered that there's, there's so much love for dance. And, you know, I was lucky that I grew up in Soweto, in Orlando East, and I was exposed to a lot of music and dancing already. You know, um, and I lived quite close to a, a hostel. And on weekends, we will watch you know, migrant laborers who are coming from all parts of Southern Africa and they'll be doing their traditional forms, which was a form of recreation for them. This keen interest from Magoma won the hearts of the likes of award-winning legendary retired choreographer and founder of Moving Into Dance, who only beams when she's in a conversation about Magoma. Greg showed special choreographic ability from very early on. His first piece was a trio. A lot of the choreographers start with solos. So already he showed that ability to understand the structure of using more than one person. And he also dealt with serious issues, with social issues from, from quite early on. I think he's grown in that his work has humor, he was always very, very musical, in, in, even in his early pieces. I think that comes out very strongly in his choreography. As a teacher, he's a wonderful teacher. He's very generous with what he gives out to the people that he mentors, to the people that he develops, to the people who, who work with him. And I've, been, I've benefited and, and moving into dance from a good relationship with Greg. 15 years later, Magoma is a world-renowned, award-winning dancer, choreographer who founded and runs a dance studio in Johannesburg where he hones great talent from across the country. For me, it, it, it does tell me that we're doing something special. We're doing something that um, 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 young people and also the community is seeing as valuable. And so it just gives us more courage to continue doing more of what we're doing. Hence, we also, you know, in, as part of our 15th year celebration, we're going into bigger spaces. We, we, we're going to the market theatre with Four Seasons first, and then our big celebration will be happening at the Jobek Theatre, in the main theatre. And we are the first contemporary dance company, black contemporary dance company, to be at that main stage with a big orchestra. And, and that, for me, it says growth. I'm Noctulam Jalose for Morning Live in Newtown, Johannesburg.